Molly from Madam Alexandra Dolls. Welcome. Hi. 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 Oh, just to address a couple things real quick. Some of you guys have been asking, hey, this Groot glass is so cool. Can I get it at the convention? No, that's a specially made Groot glass full of M&Ms that we're going to have on the table all weekend long for our guests to snack on if you want any. But <laughs> you look great. You're, you're spider gwinning you. super hard. Yes, thank you very did, much. Did you make this costume yourself? I designed it myself and mm -hmm. then uh, had the lovely ladies back at our design studio help sew it for me. So I love a, it. A, a design of mine. Very cool. Now, you. you have some really cool, really different stuff as far as Marvel toys go. Can we take a look? Yes, we can. Let's. Why don't we start here with uh, Captain, America. Captain America. This is Captain America. She is, so basically the fangirl dolls are fashion insp mm -hmm. inspired fashion mm -hmm. dolls Love from it. the traditional Marvel uh, comic book characters. Mm -hmm. So she's a little bit of like a uh, Grace Kelly. She was sort of mm -hmm. my inspiration. And so she's she's got a little bit of a different twist on the traditional I love it. costume. She's very classic, yep. kind of, you know, like you said, Grace Kelly kind of beauty. Now, what goes into designing these dolls? Um, it starts with just the, obviously, the comic book character, mm -hmm. and then we um, use fashion inspiration. So runway, the current fashion runway inspiration, mm -hmm. or it could even be drag queens, or, you know, <laughs> I love like, that. yeah, like hair tutorials or whatever, whatever I find yeah. to, uh, to inspire each look. Yeah, I love it. It's like a very high fashion sort of almost yeah. like deconstruction of the characters. That's really cool. Who yeah. should we show off next? How about uh, another cap? Uh, we have, this is oh, Black there Widow. There we go. And she is a um, sort of like we have her, her spy hat on top. And I love it. It looks like just a, like her first appearance in Iron Man. Yep. It's very reminiscent of that. That's yeah. so cool. And I kept her hair red inspired by the Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> so yeah, she's got like kind of like a, a very like vixen um, vintage sort of look with the mermaid the mermaid ensemble and everything. I love this net too that's sort of weaved into her collar. Yeah. It really reminds me, there was a time during Marvel Comics when <laughs> Black Widow kind of got more literal and she wore a costume that was made of kind of like fish netty yeah. material that was purple and she tried to swing. It didn't work out great for her, yeah. but it looks beautiful on this costume with that sort of inspiration for it. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Thank you. And then we have Iron Man. Oh, this is so cool. Yes. So Iron Man has got like a very like 1970s, like wide leg, um, uh -huh. like jumpsuit kind of look with a cape and like that, the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see the details for the reactors are on the. Oh, right. Like the almost like a yeah. double breasted yep. suit. Yep, and then uh, also each each character has a little like a little touch of their iconic um, their iconic logo somewhere right. on. Right. So the little like yep uh, arc reactor here. Yep, right on the as a button, and then the skin is like a bronzed uh, a bronze look. Love it for the skin tone. Yeah, she does. She looks like she's got on a lot of like really great like yeah. highlighter. Yeah, she she <laughs> definitely does those like highlighter makeup tutorials. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yep. And then we have oh, and this is actually for sale over at the uh, at the booth here at the Entertainment Earth booth. Uh, we have a hundred exclusive Black Panthers. Now this so you is have our, to be here to get this. You have to be here at Comic Con to get these wow. dolls today. We only have a hundred of them, and I hear they're selling quickly. So you and better hurry. Yes, she is complete with um, braids in her hair, and the ears um, are like oh, twists. Oh, she's braided got like the Black ears. Panther ears in her hair. Yep. And uh, her jewelry is all silver, and she's got spiked boots, and this is a headpiece that goes onto her head, and then she comes with a jacket packed on the side as well. I love it. And this packaging also, I mean, the doll is beautiful. I love that she's got the sort of classic Black Panther neck piece yeah. and all of that, which is so beautiful. But this packaging is so cool how you have these kind of like very, like you have the traditional comic looks, but then you also have like the high fashion design element. Yeah. 
Yeah, we really wanted to keep it like a fashion interpretation mm -hmm. and fashion inspired rather yeah. than a direct like mimicking of the comic book characters, which you see a lot of that already. So this is our, our, our own take and our own spin on it. I love it. They're so beautiful. Now, how did this uh, sort of collaboration come into being with Marvel and Madame Alexander? Well, we were, well, all of us back at the design office are, are very much fangirls ourselves. And uh -huh. so we felt that there was kind of a lacking in dolls for us that were also fashion, because a lot of us have a fashion background or right. interest in fashion. So we kind of wanted to combine the two. And then um, we collaborated with Marvel and they were in love with the idea. And they right. thought that it was so like fresh and original and like couldn't wait to get started. Yes. I love this too because I feel like it's something that is targeted at women and girls. Yes. Which definitely. I'm always a really big fan yes. of. Yes. Um, it's such a really cool creative thing. Do you will you be seeing more dolls in this line or potentially in the future? Yes, we are in the works doing a line two of the fangirl. Very I can't, cool. can't uh, have any spoilers just no spoilers. yet, but there is a you know a, a round two coming next awesome. year. Awesome. Well, we're going to really look forward to that. Yeah. And I did want to add that um, for all the collectors out there okay. that are really into the like the hide and seek kind of elements, we mm -hmm. have something called Fangirl Finds. Oh. So with each doll, we'll have a very small percentage that will have something different about the doll. So for Black That's Panther, cool. instead of her jewelry being silver, she'll come with gold. And for um, for Iron Man, instead of having like printed on mm -hmm. little little reactors, it'll have real rhinestones. And um, for Captain America, she will have some right. some stars across her headband instead of a plain headband. Little Wonderful. little things for the real collectors to look for and get excited about. So. And and fans at home can find these at Mal MadamAlexander.com. Is that right? Uh, Toys R Us. They're, Toys R Us. They're exclusively okay. at Toys R Us this Great. year. Yes. Perfect. You guys stay here with us at Marvel Live. We have more coming up very soon. I believe we have a Funko booth tour right after this. So stay with us and hashtag Marvel SDCC and tell us which one's your favorite.